Welcome to the channel, Ajayden Sheets, and these are the top stories making headlines today. Now, hundreds have turned out for continued protest in the Donnelly Donaldson case. Now, if you agree and you want to see justice for Donnelly Donaldson, drop a like on the video and also drop your comment in the comment section. Now, if the main suspects refuse to give the police the information needed, clearly the truck driver is the one with the information who can crack this case wide open. It has been confirmed by him himself that police have taken the truck in for forensic testing. I am going to hear what I'm going to reason. Look at this. I need to know where this thing about, bad man. Yeah, you know, I don't want me don't want nobody involved me in a no car farmer thing. See? Because you can't, me a big man and a, you see how hard me work. Me I do my work. And I do my work. And that's all me do when you pay me. Me I, you see? This thing now, like it, I get out of hand, bad man. See? Because... Get out of hand with what? That's all I ask with what? With what? Because I don't have no clue when I see police come. Take on me, take on me truck, mm. and 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 say them want it for do. For do what? Like you that check on something funny. Uh. Call ended. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, remember, so me have sense. Me, me, I wonder what I go on. So, we get to understand. So, them are person missing. And when me. Are, I hear me hear these things now you know, by over the media and say, and I get to understand, say. I saw them get to see my truck and all of them something there, you know. I mean, I said, I can't believe this. Yeah, but there's a, there's, there's a camera there, you know, we just investigate everything, Papa. That's why I call you, they ask you, you come, 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 come deal with this truck. Do you remember the truck? Yeah, why, why, why you want me to link you for? Yeah? Why you want me to link you for now? No. The people accept no excuses. These demonstrations, these hundreds of people in the streets, are showcase the frustration that Jamaicans have with the crime and violence where take place, and the atrocities, what we say, being committed against women. Now, of course, the fact that the main suspects, as stated, are members of law enforcement. I know we talk of a cover-up, or with the case being delayed, the fact that the initial station that the report was made at was also the station that one of the main suspects worked at which created a conflict of even interest and the fact that the case had to be just transferred to a different station talk to me nation tell me think one thing for sure though the culprits will not get away not with this level of attention and the fact that information is being presented somewhere after view that the police have all that they need. Now on to the other stories making headlines today. Now nation, the police have finally confirmed that the 63 year old man known as Robin Zaza Morris who confessed to taking the life of 45 year old Paula Sanders who was found in Greenville, Manchester with her hands and feet bound has finally been charged. Of course condolences to the family. There was outrage seeing that after Sanders' body was found on July the 12th, Morris was held three days later, but there wasn't any concrete confirmation about the fact if he was charged or if his confession was an address or any of those legal terms that could be used by a defense lawyer. Now, it is clear, moving forward, he has claimed responsibility for his actions and will be pleading guilty and hoping by chance that not wasting the court's time, they will take that into consideration while sentencing. So may I say some worry per situation I must see in the headlines. Especially recently. With the woman, they may not look good. The fact that in Jamaica, majority of the residents are household are run by single parents. And predominantly majority of those single parents are women. So when you see certain things that take place, and you hear say, yo, certain things happen to women, you wonder what the mindset of the people there. I don't know if for the years of poverty, 
and corruption that take place on the island. But it's almost like Jamaicans lack empathy. It's almost like because of the social and economical situations. People will not allow themselves to feel any type of emotion for people who they don't know are just a meat. And that is why I believe for years people have turned a blind eye to the crime and violence that take place on the island. Until it has reached the level now where almost every aspect of the Jamaican day to day lifestyle is affected by some form of crime and violence. Talk to me in the comment section, tell me what you think. Now, until other stories making headlines today. Now, for fans of the dance hall superstar Vibes Cartel, it has finally happened. Isaac Buchanan, the attorney at law representing Adija Palmer, who is more popularly known as Vibes Cartel, has returned from a month-long stay in London, England, where he has been preparing the entertainer's upcoming appeal with the UK Privy Council. Now, according to reports, Buchanan is working collaboratively with UK-based lawyers to appeal Vibes Cartel's life imprisonment murder conviction. A team of experts is also working to have new evidence ready to substantiate the appeal. Now, we also noted that the primary evidence, such as the eyewitness testimony by Lamar Wee Chow, and the digital evidence presented by the prosecution was tampered with and falsified. He added that a thorough investigation was done afterwards by David John Martin Woodgate of UK-based Foreign Digital Investigations, which proves Vibes Cartel's innocence. Now, this is a turn. This is the evidence needed to free the entertainer and his co-accused. Now, as it states for his co-accused, Sean Stam will also be freed. As the only case holding Sean Stam behind bars is this specific case. Now, as it pertains to Matsus and Cairo, they have also been charged and convicted with other situations. So it is a bit different for them. Now, fans of the superstar have been long awaiting this specific news. Since the start of the year, Isaac Buchanan hinted at the fact that it would be this year that the Privy Council ruling would be handed out. He pointed to the fact that a Privy Council verdict is not something that takes months and months. As soon as the case is looked at, a ruling is usually handed out within two weeks. And we see what took place with the Trafagura case. With our local officials as soon as the case reached the privy council and they looked at the matter within two weeks they handed out a verdict now what has also been pointed out by the attorney is that they'll be looking at the case from a first world judicial point of view now they pointed the fact that there was never anybody and that the evidence that was used to substantiate the claims of the prosecution were falsified. Remember, it is said that the witness statement changed between what was initially said at the station and documented and presented to the defense attorneys and what was said in open court, which would basically make the witness statement unbelievable. Now, as it pertains to the digital evidence, now the experts from the UK, and this is a forensics firm that was recommended by the UK means that the Privy Council has worked with this firm on numerous cases. They are trusted. Now think about it. They have said that the evidence should have never been used in open court. That there is no way the tampering that occurred should have gone unnoticed by local authorities. They also pointed to the fact that the phone in question, or one of the phones in question, was being used while in the custody of law enforcement. These are blunders on the part of the law enforcement and could point to clear corruption. These are failures on the part of the state. Talk to me. Tell me if you, based on all the things documented and presented, it is clear a fair trial would be out of the question. And people have also stated that they have seen numerous other cases which the prosecutors have said that because of a lack of evidence 
them now move forward. In this case though, they may have a witness statement. But after them realize say, yo, the witness are giving multiple statements, this should have been a clear indicator that maybe these stories are being made up on his part. Maybe him have a, grie a grievance with the accused. Nevertheless, Mr. Buchanan has confirmed that the Privy Council appeal is now ready. And this is something, as I stated, has been, been looked forward to by fans across the globe. Vibes Carter is one of those unique artists who have fans right across the globe. And in Jamaica, has created a more loyal fan base than KFC. And if you're new to the channel, it's a pass through. Well, I'm suggesting that you click the subscribe icon, then the bell icon, and of course, put it on all. And this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform. Like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and bust a share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them sister and them brother, them for check out the channel, check out the reasoning, join the discussion. The comment section up in 24 7, it never lack yet. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts and comments and yes, your opinions there. Now, a quick recap. There are continued protests in the Donnelly Dancers case. And people are calling for the location to be revealed by the truck driver. Now, Isaac Buchanan has also confirmed that Vibes Cartel's Privy Council appeal is indeed now ready. And as I said, this is news that fans have been looking forward to for many months now. Now, until the reason again, live love and prosper. And of course, stay tuned.